Alright guys, welcome to episode 61 of EDH Commander Challenge. I'm your host, BT, alongside... Jimmy. Jimmy, how you doing, boss? Not bad, not bad. Now, before we start today's video, two things. It's funny how last week we celebrated 600 subscribers. This week we're already almost at the halfway mark to 700. Congrats, congrats. Well, you're a big part of why this is happening, man, so I appreciate you. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, now, also, before we get, get started with today's match, too, just so you guys know, the, uh, the upcoming prize for the EDH CC giveaway I've decided will be... Got a drum roll or something? <laughs> I know we're, we're so bad at this. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, a foil Maze of Ith. So, for those of you who have never played the card, it's, it's a card that can go in any deck. We always try to give out prizes that people will be able to use no matter what. Uh, it doesn't tap for any mana, but it's really great against people who play Voltron, Commanders, or, you know, a specific creature that, like, for example, Raven Guildmasters, that if it hits you, it can still significantly hurt your deck. Basically, all it does is... Yeah, and plus it's also some infinite combos with it, too, like, um... I forget the name of the car, but it, it untaps it two, lands. two lands. And then you can, uh, during the combat phase, you can pretty much use Maze and, uh, let's say, Guy's Cradle. Infinite mana to boost them will come all and infinite well, damage. There's that, or if, you, if you're funny and you have, like, Helix Pinnacle yeah. and avoid Danny yeah. West. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can do some crazy stuff with it. So Maze of it is going to be the prize. I'll have the descriptions for how you can enter below. It's very simplistic anyway. You, just in the comments below, make sure you t put the hashtag EDH command your challenge and say what deck you would put the Maze of Ith in. And uh, also, if you want to have a bonus entry, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and retweet one of our videos with the hashtag EDH Commander Challenge. Or nice. hashtag EDHCC will do, either, either or. Nice, nice. So let's get down to business. Today we've got ourselves a uh, three color versus three color thing. Jimmy, you're playing Naya, and I am playing, I guess, Bant? At this one, I haven't played Bant too many times, that's why. So for my general, I've got Jinara Ashura of War. Uh, she is a 3-3 uh, three, three for one of each of the colors of Bant being green, white, or blue. She is flying, and for two men, including a white, I can put a plus one, plus one counter on her. So a great example of a card that would work uh, with Maze of Ith, where you can stop it from doing damage to you, as it's technically a Voltron commander. Sure. Jimmy, what do you got for us? Lady Amor is the Ruiner. It's a Flying Vigilant Shuffle 6-6, six, six, one of the new uh, Elder Dragons from the, one of the newer sets. It states that if it deals any, it has hexproof as long as it doesn't deal damage, it haven't dealt damage yet. Ooh, so okay. it's in general, it's not like every turn. So it's like you got like four abilities at the start then. Pretty much. It's like Dragon Necroma. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we had a dice roll off camera to see who would go first, and I'm getting to go first, and Jimmy gave me probably one of the most godly cuts ever. So we'll see. This is pretty much for all the games he ever soul ring turn one me. <laughs> This is like absolute revenge. No, no, you do No, no. Watch this, no, watch this. No. Here we go, here we go. Ready, no. ready? So you got a land there, you got a soul ring. Oh, that's wait. my thing. But wait, it gets better because I got a mox oh, and I'll discard wow. a, uh, a Menictos. Wow. <laughs> I'll tap this for a blue and uh, to a two and I'll play a Fabricate. I was not expecting the commander sphere. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. I, actually, what I'm going for is not, you're not too far off to tell you the truth. I'm gonna go for a, um, a coalition relic. Nice. And after that, I'm gonna pass it back to you, good sir. Thank you. Ooh, wow, that's funny. Did you also get soul ring? Won't play it, but it's funny. You got soul ring. Play a force. <laughs> One or a. He won't play. He, he won't play it because he's nice to me. Uh, what is this? this? Allows you to tap for one green. Oh, that's a nice group. Wait, uh, hold on. So I win. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for me. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I found out. Looking for the coalition relic everywhere, and I'm like, I cannot find it. All right, my turn. Well, yep. first I need you to cut if you don't mind. Thank you. I'll draw for turn. I'll draw. Uh, that was not very good, but still. I'll play a land, I'll pay four. Uh, to play a Garuk Wild Speaker, I will take it up, untap two lands, so this goes up to four, and then 
for three, then I'll drop the Coalition Relic, and I'll pass it back to you. You predator strike that wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll play the top three. I'm yeah. gonna play what else? Allows me to search for a uh, forest card and put it into play. Gonna go for some dual land, sir. Yes, I am. All right, all right. Let me probably get some token money because go for uh, Tega. Who told you to put animals in the play? Oh wait, <laughs> it's that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. No, it's okay. You're gonna get miracle top decks no matter what I do. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I do. You're the man. You're the man. And I say no. I'm just gonna quickly put off to the side a specific token if I can find her. It's like whenever, guys, just so you know, whenever I'm looking for a token, you can't find it. But when you don't need it, it's everywhere. <laughs> Beast tokens, if I make any. So put that over there. And let me untap. We draw a card. It's a land, because all, that's all I get. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> um, so white, green, and blue. Ganara. Then I will. I'll just make a beast token, and uh, after that, I'll put the last card in my hand for three, which is a Sword of Feast and Famine. And after that, I'll have to pass it back to you. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh no! <laughs> ah, there you go. He still gets it. This guy's a man. Three and three. like a race. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's a race you're bound to win. Because <laughs> that thing is huge. Go ahead. I have my beast here. Just need a blocker, yeah. I want to put a charge counter on my coalition relic of turn. I will draw a card. I felt left out, you know, so I figured, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to get my soul ring out, you know. I'm going to use the, uh, I'll, I'll put a, a Seaside Citadel, I'll use the mana, uh, plus an extra one. Uh, I'll use it for a white, plus an extra one. And I'll put the first charge counter on Janara. Power up. It's just like the, the old uh, Altered Beast video game I used to play growing up. Two, I'll equip my Sword of Feast and Faman onto my dude. Hmm. A 6-6? Six, six? Uh, yeah, actually it's uh, currently a 6-6, six, six. you're right. I'm gonna also pay two. We'll put another plus one plus one counter because it away from there. Now I have two interesting options. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll take this up and I'll untap two lands and I'll tap them right away and put another plus one plus one counter on this. Dare do four. Well, I don't really have any mana to do anything with, so sure, why not? So, two more. Another plus one, plus one counter. You, know, you feel her strength welling up, don't you? Um, yeah, I'll move into combat and I'll attack you strictly with. Wait, how big is that? I have to almost six, forgot. Six. Okay, yeah, I can get through that. Plus, it's pro, uh, pro green. So I have a nine. three, yes, it's nine. Commander, so, nine. commander right? Uh, nine commanders here at oh, 31. Okay, really I got the live titles over here. No, but commander, I mean. Yeah, it's like a, this, this app takes care of the, uh, the all of it, so don't worry, I got you. There are 31 and nine uh, Janara damage. Mm -hmm. I have to discard a card to Sword of Feast and Famine, then I get to untap all my lands. Strip mine. And, uh, strip mine. <laughs> 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 I have passed the turn. <laughs> Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. 
Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. If you do the nail, <laughs> do the nail without it twice. <laughs> Gets a black <laughs> angel or something. That'd be so hilarious. Technically, doesn't that mean if until that deals damage, that could technically be the, the last hex ability. Almost screams in your general like, I'm gonna keep powering it up until it's <laughs> one hit, so you can't stop it and you die. <laughs> uh, I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. What? That's a good idea, Chris. Uh oh. <laughs> Two. Don't play grappling hook. <laughs> Red. Yeah. I'll play Xenagos. <gasps> wow! Do you have me dead? Oh god, if you have a Berserk, I'll just pick up my cards. <laughs> that's game. So you're using it? Yep. So that's 12. You take 12. Does it have Vigilance? In the air. It does have Vigilance. Do you have, do you have something to boost it more? Unfortunately, no. Oh man, that's not going to be a long game either, guys. Uh, I just took 12. <laughs> <laughs> One hit. At least it loses the Hexproof ability. Not that it matters, I have no hand. <laughs> Go ahead. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna put two more plus one plus one counters on Janara. And then I'm going to untap and draw for my turn. This is not even. Um, yeah, I, mean, I have no choice because otherwise you're gonna kill me, so. I'm gonna move into combat. Oh wait, first I'm gonna use the Garuk. So I get all my creatures get uh, plus um, get uh, plus three plus three and trample until end of turn. And I'm coming at you with just Janara. How much is that total? Uh, right now it's, let me see, it's got six counters on it. Plus three is nine, plus two is 11. And I could potentially pump it three times. So I could make it 14. And it's trample. And you're already down nine. Do you have a moment's peace? Or a fog? Well, that was a quick game! <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, all right, guys, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it. A quick shout out to our EDACC family, our subscribers, if you will, who continue to grow in number with each week and each episode that we film. And guys, from the bottom of our hearts, we can't thank you enough for the support that you give, and we're forever grateful for that. So thank you very much. You're the best. And if you out there aren't already a subscriber and you want to be part of the family, smash the subscribe button and notification bells down below and you'll know each and every time a new EDHCC video drops on YouTube. And we do weekly videos by the way, so don't forget to like our videos, share them, comment, and most of all, enjoy them. Until next time, I'm your host BT, remind you to check out all the other videos on the channel. Continue to join our game. It's now your turn. Cheers. <laughs>